Hey loves, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to make a centerpiece with a floral ball, a candlestick holder which I got from Goodwill, silk flowers which came from the Dollar Tree. These are red and white. They're absolutely beautiful. And some red glitter. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this. I may leave it this color. We shall see. So first off, I'm going to take my 6 inch styrofoam ball and I'm going to begin to fill it in with the flowers. Okay, so I always start off putting my flowers at the pivotal points of my arrangement. So I always do them on the sides and the top, and I usually leave the bottom open so I can know how much room I need in order to have the bottom suitable to fit onto the candlestick holder. And it usually gives me a good idea for spacing. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to fill in my floral ball with more flowers. So I'm going to space them out. Just continue to fill in your ball with all of your flowers and leave the bottom open so you can place it on top of your candlestick holder. Okay loves, here's what it looks like once I've added flowers all the way around leaving a small space in the bottom so that I can put it on top of the candlestick holder. I'm going to take my candlestick holder and some Mod Podge and apply it to the candlestick holder. And I'm going to start at the top. Now I did like the way that it looked with it just being silver, but I just want it to be a little bit more dramatic and give it a pop of color. So I'm gonna try this red. Turn it upside down. I'm just going to go over it and add a second layer to make it a little bit more thicker so you can't see the silver on top or underneath. Repeat the same for the bottom. So here's what it looks like once you've covered your candlestick holder with red glitter. Next what I'm going to do is take these picks that I actually got from the Dollar Tree, these heart picks. They are super duper cute, right? Just to match the theme and I'm going to cut them just a little bit in half. I think I'll do it with my hand. Yeah. And just break them. I'm actually going to add these inside of the floor arrangement. And I'm just going to sporadically add them throughout the arrangement. Give it a little bit more of a Valentine's Day feel. Okay. 
Okay, so once you've added your hard picks inside of your floor arrangement, I went ahead and plugged up my hot glue gun and I'm going to adhere it to the candlestick holder. Flip it upside down. And you're basically just going to add hot glue to the bottom of the styrofoam and place it on top. Okay loves, here's the finished product. It turned out really cute. I was kind of worried when I did the glitter on it, but once I thought about adding these picks from Dollar Tree inside of the arrangement, it definitely connected the two together. So it turned out really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would definitely use this for Valentine's Day, for your home decor, or even your Valentine's Day party, or even any event that you're having and you want a pop of color. I wanted to do something different because I typically stick to certain color patterns and I wanted to do something bright and fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for all the love and the support that you guys have been showing on this channel. It is amazing. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with everything that I do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you're having a wonderful 2017. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye! Just gently fluff them around, fill in all the empty spots, make it look as natural as possible so you won't have like smushed flowers, you know, pull out some of the greenery in between each flower and try and make sure that it's all the way filled and that it looks as neat and clean as possible.